من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حدائك وعنابا وقوائب أترابا وقاسم دحاقا لا يسمعون في اللغة ولكن سبا جزاء من ربك أتا عن حساب الرب سمات بلد وما بين حم الرحمن وما بين حم الرحمن لا يملكون من خطابا صدق الله العلي العظيم Alamat class, I am here for lecture number 10, centrioles. Cell divisions take place in the cell. If cell will not divide, the cells will not divide, we will not grow in size. If your finger is increasing in size, that is that mean number of the cells are increasing. If your uh, size of the body is increasing, your height is between the cell division being taking place. And cell division involved in increasing the size that is the mitosis. So mitosis is the cell division due to which we are becoming uh, longer, larger, the size of the body of the living thing increased due to cell division that is the mitosis. And mitosis take place due to centrioles. The organelle which will carry out mitosis because centrioles are the organelle which will shift it towards opposite poles in the cells you know between them the spindle fibers will be formed and spindle fibers will be formed cell division will take place spindle fibers will not form cell division will not take place so spindle fibers are important who forms spindle fiber centrioles form spindle fiber they are present in animal cell they are not present in the plant cell they are present only in the animal cell and in the plants i will tell you how the spindle fibers are formed because centrioles composed of a protein tubulin so of course the tubulin is the main uh, part which involve in the formation of spindle fibers so centrioles if not take place in the plants the tubulin present you are confusing by microtubules yes microtubule is a polymer that is also tubulin the between these two molecules tubulin and microtubule is that one is the polymer one is the one is the smaller molecule one is the larger molecule smaller molecule will combine to form the larger tubulin smaller molecule monomer it will combine to form the larger molecule mean polymer and polymer is the microtubule so these are the centrioles this is the one centriole this is the one centriole and this is the centriole one centriole and this is another centriole. I will show you once again two centrioles. You are I like centrioles. This is one centriole. This is another centriole. So these are the two centrioles. Question is how many centrioles are present in a single cell of the animal cell? Two centrioles, centrioles are present. You will not do mistake because a lot of the students doing mistake in number of the centrioles. There is a difference between centrioles and the centrosomes. Centrioles and the centrosome, there is a difference. Centrioles are two. Centrosome is one. What is the mathematical rule now? What is the mathematically you can explain by the number of the centrioles? Number of the centrioles equal to two number of centrioles equal to one centrosome and the area in the cytoplasm in which the centrioles are present that area is the centrosphere that area is the centrosphere you are watching centrosphere and then centrosphere and centrioles stand area cytoplasm the area in which the centrioles are not present those areas are called as centrosphere in the centrosphere centrioles are present the centrioles are present in the centrosphere when centrioles are present those centrioles with the centrosphere collectively called centrosome easily i can tell you two centrioles equal to one centrosome it is present in one cell how many centrosome present in one cell one how many centrioles are present during cell division four by four because two centrioles if you you will study the interface in Two centrioles they duplicate into four. When they yeah, they will they mean, of course their normal life they consist of two, but during cell division they will change it into four. Two will be shifted towards the right side, two will be shifted towards the left side. In the mitosis meiosis, I will tell you in the second year why they are shifted towards the right side or left side because they want to form the spindle fiber, which is the main objective of the centrioles. 
Now, once again, the questions are in the plants. The centrioles are not composed of spindle fibers are found. But centrioles are not present, but tubulin monomer protein is present. Centrioles are basically farming spindle fiber just because of tubulin, which is a monomer, which is a small protein molecule. Now, we see one century. These are two centrioles. These are two centrioles. These are two centrioles. And one centriole, one centriole consists of, I want your attention, one centriole consists of nine triplet, nine triplet microtubule, nine triplet, total, how many? Nine multiplied by three equal to 27. I am talking about one centriole. In one centriole, how many total tubes are present? Nine. How many tubes, how many tubes in one out of nine, three? Total number of tubes, nine multiplied by three. Nine multiplied by three equal to 27. Yes, now you see, this is the one triplet tubule, but this is another triplet tubule, the third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one, seventh one, eighth one, ninth one, the figure. I go back to other centriole, look, the one centriole, this is the another centriole, this is the third, fourth one, fourth one, this is the fifth one, sorry, this is the sixth one, seventh, eighth, ninth. Similarly, nine triplet microtubule in one centriole. Nine triplet tubule mean that in one total number of microtubules, nine, but each tubule consists of further three total number is 27 the total number of microtubules in two centrioles 27 multiplied by 254 54 it is a tubule that is the polymer that is the polymer tubulin is monomer i am again and again telling you there is no difference between tubulin technically centrioles are composed of the tubulin and the microtubule is a polymer another function of the centriole uh, uh, in spite of cell division they have they are doing some other functions as well for example the one another function of the uh, one another function of centrioles to form the basal body to form the basal body basal body is also called kind to some basal body basal body what is the basal body now basal body is the area in the cell from which the cilia arise we have no cilia Yes, we have a cilia in rachia, but we, cilia is not locomotory structure in our body. Cilia is a locomotory structure in paramecium. Flagella is a locomotory structure in the eugalina. And cilia and the flagella, they arise from a outgrowth from the cytoplasm. That outgrowth is called basal body. And from basal body, it arises. From basal body, it arises. From kinetosomes, it arises. Important. From kinetosomes, it arises. From basal body, it arises. So this is also another function. Now I am telling you cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton, we have skeletal system. We have skeletal system. Why we have skeletal system? To give us strength, to give us uh, protection because we are strong just because of that. Just like steel in a house give the strength to the house. Simple, simply the bones in our body will give strength to our body. And the skeleton in the cell, the protein, in the cell gives strength to the cell by similar way so cell also getting support from the protein three proteins are present in the cytoskeleton which is giving strength one i will discuss you today microfilament 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 you can see the microfilament 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 basically consists of three protein this all paragraph i will explain by three protein look here one protein will be central protein which is acting what I am talking about cytoskeleton. How many proteins I am discussing? Three. Which type of protein? Which type of protein I am discussing? Microfilament. Microfilament consists of how many proteins? Three. Central protein, actin protein. Central protein, I am teaching you structure of microfilament. The central protein, actin filament, which is also called F, F, F actin, which is also called capital G actin. In muscle structure, I have to tell that what is F actin, what is the G actin. It is why it is called F actin, why it is called G actin, I will tell you in the muscle structure. So this actin molecule, which is present at the center, it is surrounded by tropomyosin. Tropomyosin. It is surrounded by tropomyosin. And tropomyosin, how many chains? Two chains of tropomyosin. 
and then it is surrounded by troponin by patches by patches by patches tropomyosin so three protein one is a actin then tropomyosin then troponin in the patches patches mean without uh, without continuous layer why i am teaching you these three proteins so seriously because you know your muscles are in contracted status because of this microfilament actin i am not naming here myosin because myosin is not here the topic but i will tell you two proteins in the muscle one protein i am telling you actin filament actin filament consists of three actin filament consists of actin filament consists of three protein central actin surrounded by tropomyosin continues to change and then troponin which is discontinuous this actin filament combined with look here this actin filament this myosin filament in muscle cell second year full chapter how the muscles contract then you will understand that how myosin actin are crucial for in our body because muscles contract relax i am speaking my hand is moving up and down my muscles contract and relax because muscles are working antagonistically so which protein in the muscles will contract actin will contract actin will contract actin and myosin will bind contraction will occur detailed in second year much detailed just listen only two protein myosin i am not teaching you i am teaching just actin but actin importance actin will contract mean actin will combine with myosin muscles contract what is the solution what is the what is the what is the solution uh, of this understanding muscles can not contract without actin because actin is there it will be able to combine with the myosin another protein in the muscle actin myosin combine the muscles will contract the muscles will not contract muscles will not relax no contraction no relaxation no movement oh my god how much important protein this is so significant structure i told you microfilament microfilament and microfilament in the muscle cell important in the muscle cell it is in the form of myofibrils microfilaments microfilament in the muscle in the muscle cell in the muscle cell is it just like this one in muscle cell i have to teach you in a lung when i will teach you i will start from the myofibrils because one muscle cell is a longitudinal with the space in that the inside the longitudinal fibers are there like this one and this one like exactly this one these fibers are there visible in the cell the fibers are there and these fibers these small fibers present in the muscle cell called myofibril it is called myofibrils so myo it is called the myofibrils myofibrils visible to you and myofibrils involve in contraction and relaxation i already told you now we see the next slide similar information actin filament consists of three protein actin troponin and tropomyosin spellings are little mistake i will uh, i will tell you orally actin actin tropomyosin t r o p o m y s i n tropomyosin and the troponin three proteins i will show you diagram how they are twisted around each other another another slide which is important of lecture today the centrioles migrate to the opposite poles during mitosis and meiosis centrioles will not migrate centrioles will not migrate the cell division will not take place so another one centriole is a polymer very interesting one centriole is a polymer because it consists of the microtubule microtubule mean it is consists of the monomer which is a tubulin which is a tubulin so centriole composed of microtubule microtubule consists of a polymer microtubule is a polymer it consists of a monomer tubulin so centriole is a polymer consists of microtubule how many microtubules in one centriole nine a triplet mic what is microtubule what is the monomer what is the monomer the monomer is the tubulin tubulin go back to next one this slide also very important two centrioles are equal to one centrosome two centrioles equal to one centrosome so uh, the last point which i have to explain today actin and myosin binds actin and myosin will contract the muscles will contract this is very interesting information you got actin filament actin protein microfilament is such important structure inside cell especially inside the muscle cell it will not bind with myosin the muscles will not contract muscles will not contract we cannot move and paralyzes occur actin moves site this is a, say, another function but not much important it will move the cytoplasm 
it will move the liquid part of the cytoplasm is called cytosol cytoplasm you know that is a transporting fluid it is moving the molecules from the one area to another area cytoplasm is just not a liquid it is doing very important transporting system in the cell it is a transport like metro system it is a liquid liquid carrying molecule from the one place it is moving from the one place to another so by this way you will be able to transport the molecule from the one area of the cell to another area of the cell in the next next lecture i will show you microfilament three proteins which are twisted along with the other two parts of cytoskeleton cytoskeleton three three structures one is a microfilament an intermediate filament and other one is a, a, a microtubules which i have to tell you allah is